Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the first step of document understanding, the taxonomy. The taxonomy is basically a collection of document types. Its function is to organize the document types into groups and categories to facilitate their handling along the workflow. In addition to these groups and categories, we can also define fields in each document type, which are pieces of information that we want to find and extract in the workflow. Also, these fields can vary between document types. So, let's go to the workflow. So, I opened Studio here, and the first step in every document understanding workflow is to download the Intelligent OCR package. This package contains all the activities that are necessary for us to recognize documents here in Studio. So, I will hit this Manage Packages button, click here in All Packages, and then search for Intelligent OCR. Here it is, uipath.intelligentocr.activities. We just hit install and then hit save. With the package installed, we can see here in the design tab that a new button has appeared the taxonomy manager. It allows us to create the taxonomy for our workflow. So we can click it and the taxonomy manager window opens up. We have here a notification telling us that a JSON for the taxonomy has been created automatically in a folder of our workflow. I will show this later so for now I can close it. And in this workflow, I will try to follow the same logic that I used in the last video. So I will create a document type for SAG documents. So the first step is to create a group for it, after that a category, and then the document type. To create a group, it is a very simple task. We just click here the plus sign after any group, and we name the group. I will call it Bills. We hit save, and now we can create a category. So we hit this plus sign again, and I'll call this category gas, because SAG documents are actually gas bills. And now we can add our document type. We click here, and we can name it. I will call it SAG from group bills and the category gas. And the document type code is an optional value, so I'll leave it empty. And here in the new field button we can define our fields that we want to extract from this document. I will create three of them. The due date of the bill, the total value and also the bill number. I'll start with the due date. We click new field and then we name it due date. Now we have here two options, smoothie value and requires reference. If you check smoothie value, you allow this field to have multiple values in the same document. And if you uncheck requires reference, you allow this field to be processed even if it has a value that has no reference in the document. I will leave both as they are, and then now I have to select a type for this field. We have many types to choose, we have text, a number, date, a name, address, it can be a keyword, a set, a boolean, and also a table. Since it is a due date, I will choose date here, and we can also define the format that we want this date to be extracted. I will leave the default value, so we hit save, and now I will quickly create the other two fields. Name total, it is a number, so we choose type number, save again, and the last one, bill number, that is also a number. We can hit save and save here again. So the taxonomy is created, now we can close the taxonomy manager, and for the taxonomy to be loaded in the workflow, 
so we can use it. We have to use the low taxonomy activity. Let me just put a sequence here. And inside it, the low taxonomy. It is a very simple activity with just a output. That is the taxonomy. We just create here the variable and our taxonomy is ready to use in the next steps of our document understanding workflow. The last thing I want to show you is the taxonomy JSON file that I mentioned earlier. We click here in the document processing folder and open it. So this is taxonomy JSON and inside it we can see that we have the groups that I created, the categories, the name of the document types, we just created one so here it is. And also we have the fields defined inside this document type. So we have here the due date, the total value, the bill number and so on. So to sum up. Everything we created on the taxonomy is defined here in the taxonomy JSON file. We can close it. And this is the end of our demonstration. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.